Hey guys, this is Pyrostasis from TDK Industries and EVE Online, and this is a video to uh, show my corp how to use the D scanner as we're fixing to move into a wormhole. Um, one of the most important things about the wormhole, or wormhole life in general, is local is delayed. That means it does not update when somebody comes in. So somebody could be in this wormhole with me right now and I wouldn't know. As you can tell, I'm not showing up on the wormhole. Somebody actually has to talk to show up. As you see, now I display in local. So anybody else in here knows I'm here. Um, and if uh, one of our alliance mates is in here, they may reply. Probably not. But uh, if they did, they would show up. Now, it makes for some interesting um, intel. Because, you know, if you're mining or if you're flying a combat site or something like that, you got no idea that somebody's in system. Well, one of the nice fix, or I guess ways around that is the directional scanner. This cool little utility scans, I think it's it's either 7 or 14 AUs, I forget which. If you're really curious, then you can do the kilometers to miles um, math and then divide it by 93 million and you'll figure it out. But uh, usually when you get it, you know, it's some small number. You want to click in the range and hold 9 till you hear that annoying sound and then uh, just click off and it'll change to the max number which just happens to be a little over 2 billion. Now when you scan you want to make sure it's set on 360 degrees and you'll scan everything around you. Now I'm picking up all these moons and such um, you can click use overview settings and it gets rid of just about everything that won't show up unless it'll show up in your overview. You want to make sure that you've got probes selected so that you can see probes in your overview. And I can go over that on the forums with you guys if you have questions on how to set that up. But uh, basically what you want to do while you're running a combat side or mining is, you know, every few seconds you want to hit this. And you'll be able to tell when somebody's, you know, scanning you down or approaching you because their ship will show up or the probes will show up. Um, there's two types of probes in EVE. One is core scanner probes, and one is combat scanner probes. If you see core scanner probes, that's not quite as big of a worry as if you see combat scanner probes. Core scanner probes are designed to locate uh, anomalies, graph sites, LADAR sites, uh, things like that. Um, they don't get sig they don't get good uh, signatures on ships. In fact, they, they don't get any signatures on ships. Combat scanner probes are pretty much the exact opposite. They don't scan for normal things. They scan for objects like POSs, um, you know, containers, ships, stuff like that. So once you see, you know, a sister combat probe or just a normal combat probe, that's when somebody's scanning the system. So that's usually your first um, idea that somebody's here. So give you an example of what that looks like. Of course I can't do that while I cloaked. Now when you first start scanning a system you have to scan pretty largely. You know, you're going to be scanning at you know 32 or 64 AUs. Um, that's what you're going to be scanning for. Okay, now I don't have, on my alt, I don't have a scanner probe set up, but you can see right here, core scanner probe. You've got the combat scanner probe on scan now, and I can tell that it's within, you know, 22 kilometers of me. If you were to see something that's within 22 kilometers, you're pretty much already fucked. Um, but usually you'll see it out at about, you know, 10 AUs or 7 AUs or something along those lines. That means the guy's, you know, knows you're there, he's trying to scan you down, and you've got a period of time while he refines his scan. He's going to have to move his probes a few times until he locates you. Unless you're in something big. You know, if you're in an orca or something large, you, know, you may not have as long. But as soon as you see that probe on the directional scanner, you want to get the hell out of Dodge. You know, you've probably got anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes to get out of there, depending on ship size. Obviously, the better his skills, 
the bigger your ship, um, you know, the faster he's going to get that lock on you. Uh, if you only see one, not a big deal. If you see more than, you know, more than two, that means you're triangulated and he's going to have you pretty damn quick. So, uh, and you know, obviously the closer those probes get, you know, the better the lock and soon you're going to have a ship. And if you actually see a ship on scan, um, you know, unless he's at one of the planets using the directional, which is pretty useless in a wormhole as there's no asteroid belts and unless you're sitting on a planet, um, you're safe. So the key thing is, you know, you want to keep constantly be hitting this, you know, every, yeah, it, it, it's optimal to hit it about every five to 10 seconds, but you know, if you're in a wormhole, you're on a mining up, it's a little crazy to be popping out every five to 10 seconds. You know, if you hit it every 30 seconds, or if you have somebody watching the wormhole, you should be fine. So uh, make sure you're in vent, make sure you're paying attention to the people who are uh, keeping an eye on uh, the uh, system and the uh, wormhole operation should be safe. If you have any questions, uh, hit them up in the comments or in the forums. And uh, good luck in your wormholes.